logistics operational guide, the log, a compendium of best practices in humanitarian logistics. And Kelly Bradley, uh, who is the field support logistics officer, uh, will, or a field support logistics officer, will tell us more. Kelly, are you there? Hello, my name is Kelly Bradley. I work for the Global Logistics Cluster and I am a field support logistics officer. I also had something called SEPSIM, which is the service provision and management team here at the GLC. I wanted to talk to you today about something called the Logistics Operational Guide or LOG for short. The LOG is an open-ended manual. It's something that we keep online. It has been for all practitioners of humanitarian logistics and it is something that we've continued to evolve over the years. The original development of the log started in mid to late 2014. Uh, it was built on a wiki style platform that had information drawn from the logistics manuals from multiple humanitarian response organizations. Development of the initial log started until about mid 2015, but between 2015 and 2020, there really wasn't too many changes or additions. Looking at the content that we had in place uh, about two years ago, we decided we needed to do an update. So starting in mid-2020, uh, we launched an initiative to conduct an overhaul of the log. Uh, that included the development of new sections and revisiting the sections that we already had. The updates are currently ongoing to the log. Uh, they have started in earnest several months ago and we've added additional content to roughly 60 to 80% of the current existing sections. The update project is expected to be finalized sometime in early 2022. There are a number of planned changes to the log as is. This includes a comprehensive review to the existing content when we went back and revisited the content of the original log, uh, a lot of it was pretty good, but we realized that some of the information was either out of date or incomplete, or other areas that we could expand on extensively for any practitioner of logistics to cover many, many areas of that one subset. In addition to that, we are also building out uh, additional expansion guides for key technical areas that weren't necessarily addressed uh, in the original sections. Other major areas we want to expand to, uh, we want to make this available in multiple languages. So pretty much all languages of major areas of operation in, in which we operate. We're looking at developing a new dynamic web hosting environment. Uh, the log is currently online and is currently available, but we would like to put it in a way that is easier for people to read and reference and search for material internally. Lastly, we are going to be working on developing a variety of templates for users, anything from warehouse forms all the way to rapid assessment forms. Uh, these will also be available in multiple languages. The intended audience for the log is really meant to be anyone who is involved with the provision of logistic services in the humanitarian context. We realize that many mid to large humanitarian response non-governmental organizations already have logistics guides, logistics manuals, or other some form of basic logistics standards. Uh, we don't mean to replace those. Really, we want to make additional resources available to anyone who is looking. Lately, we've realized that uh, a lot of this attention is coming from smaller NGOs who may not have the capacity to develop their own guides or maybe have not been around long enough to develop them. This includes a lot of national NGOs who may be operating only within one specific country of operation. Uh, other areas we've looked at is supporting national disaster management organizations or NDMOs. Many, many nations have started to develop uh, state funded and state managed NDMOs to support and work in collaboration with humanitarian response organizations. These same NDMOs are facing many of the challenges that uh, other humanitarian response organizations are as it comes to logistics. So we really would like to be able to provide resources to them as well too. Uh, and realistically, uh, this is really meant for anyone who wants to expand their knowledge or may have one, one set of uh, key specific technical questions that can't be answered with the resources they already have available to them. This is an example of the current log as is. 
Uh, you can see there's a navigation menu off to the side and there is a body with content available. The current logistics operational guide is already online. Users may access it by going to the logistics cluster main website where they can see a link to it at the front page. Additionally, if you would like to visit the log, you can also go there by following the URL displayed here. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you very much. Um, if you want to, or Kelly, if you